you can focus on the Holy Spirit to get the word of God. Amen. Then as they went, the Bible said that by just following the instruction, leprosy disappear. You know, some of the situation that you are going through, you just need the instruction. Not just an ordinary instruction, a power-filled instruction, anointing-filled instruction, and that instruction will break the yoke. Okay, okay let us go to the book of um, John chapter 6 so that we can understand this very well. John chapter 6, Likrativa Zonta Rabahaya, verse number 63. The Bible said that the spirit gives lives, the flesh count nothing, for the words I've spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. Jesus Christ said that the flesh count nothing, but the spirit gave life, and the words that I've spoken to you are full of what? Of spirit and life. They are full of the power of the Holy Spirit. Meaning that when Jesus Christ gave an instruction that go and show yourself to the priest, he was not giving an instruction out of, with empty words. It was words that were full of power. It was words that were full of anointing. Words that when they were obeyed, they will produce a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible said that as this man, ten men of obeyed, agreed and went and showed themselves to the priest. In the way, the power in the word, the power in the instruction, leprosy immediately was just disappearing. Because when you follow the instruction, you activate the anointing. You activate the power of God in the spoken word. Some people, when they are given instruction, they will just say, oh, okay, yes, I hear the instruction. Some of them, when sometimes when they hear the instruction, they will say, amen, and they leave it like that. Can't the power this time is on the action that you do when that word has been spoken, when that instruction has been given. Some people, when they are, they are given instruction, they say, man, I agree. But they do not do what the instruction talk about and they lose their miracle. Not that the anointing have not been released. Not that the power have not been released, the anointing have been released. But what lacked is obedience. Obedience. When somebody did not have enough audacity, enough guts to obey. When that person, when the word of God said that they must do this, they do otherwise. And they lose their miracle. Many people are suffering because of that. Not that the miracle was not released. Not that the, the grace to perform a miracle was not released. The power was released. The grace was sufficient. But the person did not follow all the instruction. Because when the instruction and the word of instruction has been given, that word carries power to, pe to perform a miracle that is desired. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why it's very, very much important. We must learn, we must practice to obey the word of God, mm -hmm. to practice the word of God. It is very, very much important. The Bible talks about man who was a commander, who was a commander by the name of um, Naaman. The Bible says that Naaman was, was a leprous man. He had a leprosy also. 
I wonder why the men of God, most of the time, to the men who have got leprosy, they gave them instruction. You know, like this. Okay, maybe, you know, leprosy, it was contagious. I want you to understand about that. Hallelujah. Amen. Then if maybe Jesus Christ laid hands, even though maybe it is transferable, it is, trans it is contagious. If Jesus Christ could have laid hands on the leprosy, leprosy could have been contagious. No wonder he was giving an instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the same thing happened to Naaman. Naaman went to the man of God by the name of Elijah. When he arrived to Elijah, the Bible said that Elijah said that, okay, go and bath seven times in Jordan. Go and bath. Just go and bath seven times. The Bible says that Naaman, because he was a commander of an army of Assyria, he was offended. He was like, no, where I am coming from, there are better rivers. They are clean rivers, more than dirty Jordan. How can this man of God tell me to do such a thing? Just to go and bath. And he was offended. He was going. The Bible said that, the se his servant said that, Master, if the prophet could have told you hard things, you would have done. You were going to believe. But because he told you just a simple instruction, go and bath seven times. Why don't you try? Why don't you just try this simple instruction and see what God is going to do? And the Bible said that Naaman went to Jordan. He went and bath. He went and swim. First time, nothing happened. Second time, nothing happened. Third time, nothing happened. Fifth time, nothing happened. Sixth time, nothing happened. The seventh time when he came out of the water, the Bible said that he came out with a fresh skin. Fresh like a baby skin. And leprosy has disappeared. Lisa, leprosy is disappearing when Naaman followed instruction. Some of the leprosies in your life, in your finances, some of the leprosies in your health, in your family, they only want you to follow the instruction and you activate the power in the spoken word and you activate on the power of God that had been released towards you. Because when the man of God spoke to Naaman, go and bath seven times, the anointing was released. When the man of God, Papa Jesus Christ, told this man, ten men, go show yourself to the priest, anointing was released. The power of God was released. And that power was just waiting for somebody who will dare believe. Who will dare obey. Who will dare do what the word was saying? But if this man will say, like, ah, uh, uh, just to follow the instruction, just to go to the priest, ah, uh, uh, let me go my other way. Leprosy was going to remain. Then as a child of the living God, it's very, very much important to train us to obey. To train us to obey. Some of the word that we speak and some of the instruction we give, we know what you are doing. We know what you are trying to do. And if you dare follow it, you will be surprised. No matter where the leprosy is, it will disappear when you do what? When you follow the instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Help me to be obedient. Help me to follow the instruction. In the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about one time there was another man. This man was blind. This man could not see. But the Bible said that when he came to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, he, before he gave instruction, he took the mud. He mixed it with the saliva. 
as he mixed it with the saliva. After that, he smeared it on his eyes. And after that, he told this blind man, Go! Go and wash your face in the pool of Siloam. Go and, go and bath. The Bible said that as he went to bath, after bathing, he came back seeing. What was this? Who is that person with a, with a bit of noise there, please? And the Bible said that when he came back, the eyes were seeing. The eyes was fresh. Blindness has disappeared. Some blindness that you are experiencing in your life. It needs you only to do what? To obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some blindness, that's all. That yoke, it could be broken. If you can just go and we take serious the word of God. The miracle is in your, the, you are miraculous in the word of God. The word that you take serious, the word that you obey, that word, that word produces what he's talking about, produces the miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes the, the instruction will not tell you what you want to hear. But whatever it tells you, it's work. It works. As long as you will do it with the whole of your heart. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Like what we're talking about, about this blind man as he went and bathed. If, imagine how crazy it is to tell a person who cannot see, go. I don't even, we don't even know whether he knows the way. He knows the direction where the pool was. We don't know. Imagine, first of all, even mixing mud with saliva. Somebody will say, hey, it is unhygienic. But God wanted to perform a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I imagine this man, of course, he was bathing every day. Naman, he was bathing every day. He was bathing every day, but now the instruction has been given. Go and bath seven times. This, this, uh, the man of God is not saying that he doesn't bath. No, but he has got something that he wants to give him. That it can only work when he follows what? Instruction. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. That's why we are saying tonight it's very, very much important as the children of the living God. We must teach ourselves. We must train ourselves to be obedient to the word of God, to the instruction, because also the word of God is an instruction. The word Amen. of God is full of instruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What like what the Bible says that in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse number 38 the Bible reads as follows give and it shall be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together running over it will be poured into your laps for with the measure you use it will be measured to you if the word of God said that, give and it shall be given to you, that is an instruction. That means if you hear this kind of a word that the Bible says, give, it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together into your bosom. You must not just say, amen. If you say, amen, and you don't give, you don't get what he's talking about. But amen. if you say amen, after you say amen, and you still do what the word of God talks about, you get what he's talking about on the other portion. Like it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, <clears throat> shaken together into your bosom. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. The problem begins what? When somebody wants their blind eyes to open but does not love the process. The problem begins when somebody... Somebody wants the leprosy to disappear, but doesn't love the process. 
Hey, shakala bahanda raba. Somebody want to gi- to be given good measure, pressed down, shaken together. But what did say that give? The problem is when that person doesn't want to give. Then if you want and you love the results, love also the process. There are many people, they go like, hey, I want, I want God to bless me in my life. I want God to do this and to do this for that for me. But when he, when the Bible say that seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these other things will be given to you. They don't want the process of seeking him. They don't want the process of praying they don't want. The process of fasting they don't want. The process of spending the time on the presence of God they don't want. But when they look around, there's that demon, there's that leprosy, there's that demon, there's that witch troubling them. But for this demon of witchcraft, for this spiritual husband, for this tokolosh to live, the Bible is saying that seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. Seek Jesus. But they find that this person, yes, doesn't love this demon of poverty, but they don't want the process of following the instruction. May God give us the grace to follow the instructions in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because the miracle is on following what? The instruction. That's what the miracle is. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you love the process, if you love the instruction, automatically you have got your miracle. But the problem, no. Some people, they don't love the process. The process. You find somebody is beginning to pray. One minute, two minutes. Hey, they are slumbering already. They are snoring already. They don't want to pray, but they, they want what God can do. How can it be? The Bible is saying, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added, shall be given. They will come to you automatically. Amen. You know, when I'm Amen. talking about this, I remember this, this man I was talking to also again this week. This man, I put him... I prayed for him, he was healed. I prayed for him, the marriage was delivered and all that. And after that, I said, okay, to maintain this, I'm going to put you to this WhatsApp group. So that you can be taught the word of God. You can be helped to pray. Amen. Uh, that man, you know, he left the group. But he's calling again, oh, pastor. I, you know, I, things are not working this time again. They're not working again. I'm just starting this. I can't finish. I can do the. I can see things are not well. I said, now what can I do when I give you the process? You don't lack the process. I'm giving you the process. I'm trying. We are trying to develop hard systems so that if, if you pass here, then no demon will ever defeat you. No witch will ever defeat you. But you find that the man does not love the process. He won the result. Those are many people like that. The moment you say, let us seek God, they don't want. But if you t- tell them about the results, they want the results. Can't you know? There is no result without what? Without a process. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you want the results, if you want the results, stick to the process and you will not struggle for what? For the results. I remember one of my daughter, you know, in Botswana, you know, many, many years ago, or a few years ago, we prayed, God bless her, thank God for a job. She became a manager. Then she was even in this platform, I remember, but she's still on the other platform, thank God, but she's not participating. But you see now, when I was supposed to pray for her today, I realized that this problem that she's facing, they were going to be eliminated automatically if we stayed seeking God. With the staking with what? With a process. 
But process require you to do something. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Like Naaman, Naaman was supposed to swim seven times. Ten lepers were supposed to walk by faith to the priest. Hallelujah. Amen. The blind man was supposed to go and also wash to the pool of Salam. Process require you to do something. There is nothing like that where they say that you just relax. Some people they think, okay, we just have to relax and we're going to get all the results. Not in the kingdom of God. There are many people who are born again. But their biggest mistake after when they were born again, they relaxed. They don't want to pray. They don't want to practice the word of God. They don't want to practice the, the principles of the word. What does the Bible say that according to what I'm talking about? Can you go to the book of James? La Krativa Zuntara Bahaya. James chapter 1, let us go there. Verse number 22. The Bible says that do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Be doer of the word. The Bible says that faith without action is what? Is dead. You know, Amen. sometimes I will be having a miracle service at the hospital. I'm praying from one word to another, from one bed to another. When you arrive to this bed, you find that even sometimes this person have, have even the Bible close to them. After when you have prayed, you tell the person, stand up and walk, you are healed. And this person said that, ah, I know, you know, I believe, you know, I believe that, I believe God will heal. I said, stand up and walk, you are healed. This person is still telling, no, I, be it is not enough to say I believe, it is enough to prove. And sicknesses Amen. will do what? Will disappear. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it is the same thing. If Jesus could say to this blind man, go and wash your face in the pool of Salem, and say, oh, I believe he was going to die blind. If these ten men who were leprous, Jesus said that, hey, go and show yourself to the priest. But if they sit down and say, no, you know, Jesus, I, we know, we know. Uh, if you believe, put action to what? To faith. Prove it. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. If the Bible is saying that gift shall be given to you, good measure, praise down, shaken together. It's not the matter that says, yes, I'm rich. After saying that you are rich, begin to practice the word of God like you are what? You are rich. How can you be rich and you cannot give? I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. It doesn't match. Only Amen. broke people where they don't give. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. People who are broke, they don't what? They don't give. They don't have got nothing to give. Then there are some people who are blessed, but they are acting like what? Like they are broke. And when they act like they are broke, things around them remain like they are what? They are broke. Why? Because they did not act in faith. Hallelujah. Amen. After when you say that I am rich, you must begin to act like what? You are rich. After when you declare that, hey, I am healed, you must act like you're what? You are healed. Amen. This is what is leading us to the point, second portion of what we are talking about here. The Bible said that out of ten leprous men, one of those men came back. When one of those men came back, he testified, said, Jesus, I was one of the ten who was having leprosy. But after you are wed, I am healed. The Bible says that Jesus Christ said, ah, how many people did I talk to? Were they not ten people? Why only this one man? Where are the other nine? The other nine, even though they were healed, they thought it was their miracle. They thought it was God was doing what he was doing for them. And maybe they have lost even their miracle because they did not testify. But Jesus Christ was happy 
with this one, one man who came to give glory to God. To testify what God has done because, you, let me tell you this, not everybody testify. It's only people who believe that they are, their problem have been solved, their situation have changed, who do what? Who testify. Sometimes the devil is waiting to see this person. Does this person know that leprosy is God? Does this person know that he's healed? He's wanting to see. But if this person still act as if they are sick, they say that that demon says, no, no, let us go back. That person doesn't believe that he's healed. Like I was, I was talking to one of my, I can say, you know, one of the of the lady in Namibia yesterday. We prayed. She was having a problem of a, of a hair which was peeling off and all that scratching and stuff like that. As we prayed together, I told her after prayer, testify about your healing. It will never come back. As the Bible said that we have defeated the devil because of what? Of the power of our testimony. Mm, she did not testify one week past, two weeks past, the third week, the same problem come back again. Then yesterday I said, when she's talking about it, said, did you testify? I said, no, I did not testify. I was waking, waiting for a month. Ah, we did not testify because he did not believe. If you believe and you realize that you are free, you are supposed to do what? To put a stamp. Testify. What kind of a stamp? The stamp of a testimony. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Even though there was a monitoring spirit, a monitoring demon which wanted to see whether you believe, that demon it will be full of shame. Hey, this person believe that he or she is free. This person believe we cannot go back even, you know, you see, remember, if you are writing, you are putting a stamp. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It's when you, if you write even it down, it's no longer a theory. There is a proof that you believe. But if it's the thing that is just in your mind, oh, it's still a theory maybe. If you write it down, that's why even when you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, you want to do, they will say, sign here. Sign that you say that you are buying this car. Put your signature. Then your testimony is like a proof of, yes, I believe. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And when you testify, you keep your miracle. Like this man, the Bible said that, then he said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. Amen. Other vision says that, may you be made what? May you be made whole. Because you have done your comeback and testified. May you be made what? Be made whole. Oh, may God give us the grace to testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Because Jesus loves the people who does what? Who testifies. If you read in this text, he was not happy with the nine who did not come back. He was not impressed at all. He was angry. By the way, because of people who did not testify. But to the one who was test who testified, he was happy. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You know, to somebody who testify, God enjoys performing miracles. God enjoys, do what? Performing miracles because he knows that after when I've done one, two, three, he will, his name will be what? He will be glorified. May God do great things in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. You will do great thing when you do what? When you continue to do what? To testify. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Because of time tonight, we're going to pray. I'm sure there's nobody who's, who is sick tonight, right? Amen. Mm. 
And I can ask, I can tell you the anointing is so strong. Just as you are doing this, just be alert. You don't need, just to, you don't need, just to be here is enough. When the glory is like this, anointing, just to be here is what? It's enough. Leprosy must disappear. Amen. Blind eyes must open. Amen. Just to be in this grace wherever you are, that problem must be solved. Amen. Things Amen. must change automatically wherever you are. Begin to pray right now. of God in my life in my career in my business in my country in my body in my anything which is not of God which is not of God Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! 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 Say I command it! I command it! Come on! to the abbey. Hallelujah. Dangerous people. Dangerous Christian. You know, when you're sending those missiles, I saw many things 
if they have trapped you with it, it is gone, that thing. They will never see it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Amen. Even to those who are posting those testimonies. Some of you are going to begin to feel a hot on those hands. That are electricity. So that when you post, mm, life must be changed. Amen. Mm, just raise up your hand right now. Focus on that anointing. 